Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a Skype interview and stream it live via OBS to Facebook or to YouTube or Periscope, wherever you wanna stream it, you can do that. Now, if you're on a PC, this is not a very complicated process. You could just add a Skype window as if you are adding any other window and everything would be fine. If you're on a Mac, it's a little trickier because the audio portion of the Mac doesn't stream to Facebook or to any platform using OBS. It's kind of a glitch in the system that they've said that they're going to fix, but they they've just have they have not fixed it and they've been saying that for years. So you actually have to use a workaround. You're going to have to get another program that's called Loopback. Now, there are different, different types of programs that you can get, but one that I know for sure works well is a Loopback. The cost of that program, I think, is about $99. At least that's the price right now. Uh, and you can download a free trial for 30 days. I'm going to take you to the website right now where you download it. So this is the website. It's rogueamoeba.com slash loopback. And of course, I'd link to that in the description below. And I'm going to suggest you start with the free download. It's free for 30 days and you can try it out and make sure it works on your Mac. Now, what this basically does is it allows you to create virtual audio devices. Since the desktop audio feature in OBS does not work well on, on Mac, you actually have to create a virtual audio device using loopback and then use that to stream live. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm actually inside the loopback app right now. And what I'm going to do, there's already a virtual audio device here called loopback audio, and I could use this, but I'm actually going to create a new virtual device just for you to see how this works. So I'm going to click on plus. And then I'm going to name this uh, Skype interview. And then what I'm going to do is add a source. And that is going to be the Skype application. So now you see that channel has been created. That virtual audio device has been created. It's called Skype interview. And the source is the Skype app. Now, I don't want it to be muted. So I'm going to unmute that. And that's all I'm going to do in loopback. Now I'm going to jump into OBS to set the audio device as this Skype interview audio device that I just created. So I'm back in OBS and what I'm going to do is go down to my settings. So I'm going to click on settings right now and then I'm going to go to audio. Now I already have my microphone selected, but I'm going to add another auxiliary audio device. And I'm going to do that by selecting it right here. I'm going to say this should be the Skype interview and then click on OK. Now, all of a sudden, the auxiliary to VU meter has been added and this is going to bring in the audio from the Skype interview. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over into Skype and I'm going to call a friend, Serena from thriftdiving.com, and we're going to do a fake interview just for you to see how you would set it up. But before I do that, I want to kind of get the system ready. I want to create a scene where it's going to be her and I on the interview. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to add a new scene. I'm going to call this the Skype interview and click on OK. All right, so we have just a blank canvas. I'm going to add my webcam. So I'm going to add a video capture device. And I'm going to take my existing device, which is my webcam. Bam! All right, now I have my webcam. Now I can easily switch to the webcam scene. But what I want to do is I actually want to uh, make this a little smaller and just kind of put it up here. And I think what I'm going to do is just have this here and then have her video over here. Now, I could also create a separate scene with just her webcam. I could create a separate scene with just my webcam, which I already have. So I can kind of switch when I'm talking and then come back to the interview. And then when she's talking, I can switch back to her webcam only in a different scene. So let's go ahead and call Serena right now. I'm going to jump into Skype. Let's go. Let's ask her if she's ready. 
And she's typing, so I'm guessing, yep, she is ready. Let me go ahead and give her a call. Well, hello there. Hi, what's going on? Not much. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Okay, so I'm doing a demo right now for the people that are watching this tutorial. So I'm going to hop over into OBS and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a window capture because we're trying to capture that window. So I'm going to select okay. window capture and I'm going to give it a name. Let's call this uh, Serena's webcam and I'm going to click on OK. Now, once I've done that, I need to go ahead and select the window that I'm referring to. So I can see here there's a Skype window with the current call. That sounds like what I'd be looking for. Yep, that looks right. I'm going to click on OK. Now, here's the problem. She is covering up my face. I'm not sure why she would do such a thing. So I'm going to go ahead and move her over next to me so that she's just not taking up all the space. You know, Serena always tries to, you know, hog the camera. <laughs> hog the spotlight. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there. What I do best. <laughs> so there's one other thing that I see here that I don't like. Right at the top of it, there's a current call little bar. And I want to get rid of that. I just want to see her face because, you know, she has on this black lipstick and you just want to focus on what she has going on there. So, <laughs> wow, all of that. So I have two options. Number one, I can select her video on here and right click, go to transform and do an edit transform. Or just to show another way, I can come down here to the source, go to transform again and click on edit transform. And once I do that, I want to do a little cropping because I want to get away, get that uh, current call section to disappear. So I'm going to crop the top. I'm going to click on this arrow and start increasing that number until I see that that current call section is just gone. There we go. I'm going to click on close. I'm going to bring her down so she is right next to me and we're good to go. Now, there's a, a whole lot of other fancy stuff that I could do. I could add a background and, and put a logo and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to do that right now. For now, you can see that we have a screen where it's both of us on the, in the scene. I am to the left and she is to the right. You can see that the mic here is going when I'm talking, and you can see that when Serena talks. Go ahead and talk, Serena. What's up, everyone? Hope you're learning a lot. All right, and you can see that her VU meter went to the right because she was talking. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add one scene where it's just her webcam so that we can go and focus on her because once again, she likes to be the center of attention from time to time. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new scene <laughs> and call that Serena's, Serena's webcam alone. I'm very original with my naming. <laughs> and I'm going to add a source. Once again, a window capture. And it's going to be Serena's webcam. So I have to select add existing Serena's webcam and click on OK. So once again, we have her. And if I want to bring her in, you can see she's not using an HD webcam. So it does look square. So what I'm going to do is just kind of fit her into that space. So now we are focused on Serena. We can go from Serena to both of us. And we can even focus on just me because once in a while, I like to be the center of attention. All right. So you can see how easy that is. Now we've used OBS. We can connect to whatever service we want to stream live to and go ahead and go live. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you got a lot of value from this. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And um, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. Until next time, take care. And God bless. Thanks, Serena. You're welcome. Oh, hey, really quick, before you leave, if you want to get access to my free OBS guide that will teach you everything you need to know about OBS Studio, you can do it in one of two ways. Number one, if you're in the U.S., just text the word OBS guide as one word to 44222. You can just take out your phone and do that. It's really simple. Or if you're not in the U.S. or you prefer to do it on your computer, go to becomeablogger.com slash OBS. When you sign up there, you're going to get my free guide and you're going to be able to get emails whenever I have something new and cool to share with you about building a blogging business. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, and of course, this is YouTube. You can subscribe. Go ahead.
You know you want to. And of course, there's another video. Just click it. I'll be there waiting. Go ahead. Click it.